Son of a bitch, guys. Trying to make fucking videos for you guys tonight, and my fucking camera keeps shitting on me. I don't know, I hit the wrong button, I raised videos, now my fucking battery went dead. I don't know, it's fucking pissing me off. I got my fucking filler sanded down here. Man, nothing pisses me off more than talking to a camera that's turned off. I got my filler sanded down right there. I got my filler sanded down right here. It's feeling real nice. Uh, yeah, it feels really nice. I'm going to take a uh, wax and grease remover, put it over that area, and take a look at it. Because sometimes you can take wax and grease remover and put it on there nice and wet. And then when you look across the panel, you can tell by the sheen how nice you have everything before you paint it. But that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, guys. I'm back. This area is good. I just checked it. It's beautiful. It looks great. Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to get my scotch right out. Uh, I got this at the surplus store up the road. The surplus store sells a lot of body equipment. Uh, this is gray scotch bright. Uh, it says ultra fine on it. I know it's probably the cheapest shit you can buy. But I ripped my scotch bright in half. There's no need to have a piece that big. Start my edges first. You're just trying to get all the shine off of this because the paint does not like to stick to shine. You want to make sure you get the edges real good because edges will be the first place where it starts peeling. Grill goes here, it's not real important, but I want to make sure the paint sticks really good. So if it starts to come off on this edge, it'll start working its way around the whole hood. So it's important for me to get all these edges nice and fucking scuffed up. A lot of the body shops I've worked at before, everyone needs scuffing. Everyone needs scuffing. And this is what they would do. Scuff. Man, I hated that. I hated working in the body shop. Because everyone's so rushed to get that check from the insurance company. Get that vehicle out of there so they can start on the next one. Then they just don't give a fuck. And I couldn't stand it. I don't like half ass shit. I like doing it and knowing that it's done. Not knowing that it's going to fail. Right like this. You can use your 3M scuff pad like this, or you can use uh, you know, you can use uh, 600 grit sandpaper. I don't like to go 400 on a panel like this, just for the fact that uh, it's not necessary. It's a little bit too rough, I think. I like this, this is working. You just gotta go over the whole thing with your scotch. 
stuff the rest of this hood up, flip it over, stuff the underside, and then I'll turn you guys back on. Okay guys, she's scuffed. Inside now, ready to rock and roll, baby. Uh, I got my chains hanging. I'm gonna hang this baby up. See if I can get the old lady to come out here and help me with that one. Yep, all scuffed up. I hate scuffing the insides of the hoods, but oh well, don't matter. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Scuff the bad boy up, hang it the fuck up. Maybe I'll get some sealer on this shit tonight. I don't know whether I'm in the mood to paint it tonight or not, but I'm going to at least spray sealer on the fucking bastard. I'll turn you back on. Hey guys, I got the hood hanging. I got bungee cords going to the floor on the cinder block, so I have little movement. It still moves, but it doesn't move that much. Uh, got them scuffed up, both sides, ready to rock and roll. I'm going to wipe it down now with some wax and grease remover. Handy dandy uh, white balls, lint free, all purpose wipes. Perfect for auto body and mechanical use. If you buy these, you want to make sure you get the L40s. The L40s are the softest, lint free, most absorbent one that they make. This is the perfect one for auto body. They have L50s, L60s, L80s. They all have their purpose, but. They're pretty much just like a napkin from fucking McDonald's. These ones, the L40s, are perfect. When I do my wax and grease remover, I have one wet and one dry.
more so. I always have a clean section. It's important. important to have a clean, clean area on your rag at all times or else you're just moving the dirt around you're not actually cleaning it. Backside, you guys won't be able to see me. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to do the back side. I'm going to do the front side one more time and the back side one more time. So I'm going to do it a total of two times, the same exact way that I did it as you just watched. One wet rag, one dry rag. I fold it in fours. Look, I still got two good areas. I actually almost have four. One, two, three, four. This one's wet all the way through, so I'm just going to get a new one. But you get the picture. I'll show you when I'm done wiping it down. i got my sealer mixed up here. Got my tack rag. Got to uh, open my tack rag up. I don't know, some guys like to leave these folded up, not me. I like to open these all the way up. I don't know why, just the way I was taught, you gotta open these fuckers all the way up. Come on baby. Come on baby. You gotta open these all the way up because they work better that way. Look at all the more surface area I'm getting. Look at how big this thing is. But you guys never thought a tack rag was that big. Look at that. Now see, when you have it flat, you only got a couple little surface areas, huh? When you open this fucker up, look at how big it is. And then you know what you do with it? Punch it in a ball. Yep. You punch it in a ball. You go over it. You move it around. You go over it. You move it around. You go over it. You got a clean, nice, clean, sticky surface every fucking time. I'm gonna turn my heat off. I'm gonna turn the goddamn radio off. Tack rag apart and balled up in a ball. Make sure my camera's still fucking working. Uh -oh. Let me go over this thing from top to bottom. I'm gonna make sure I get it all. Moving my tack rag around as I go. I also like to tack all in one direction. Same as I did my wax and grease remover. I like to go all in the same direction. Move my rag around. 